Hi friends, in today's lecture, we will study how to use the filter command of Microsoft Excel. So before we start with the training, let's take a small look into our data. So here you can see that I have three columns. One is item name, which shows the list of the computer hardware products. In the region, I have the sales in the four zones, north, south, east, and west. And the last column shows the sales figure. Now, what I want to do over here is, I would like to filter the data and extract the data over here, which matches the criteria. So if I type over here, for example, the region name as north, it should extract all the data for north and show. If I type over here south, it should extract all the data for south and show. So let me show you how I have achieved the same. So I'll first erase this data like this. Then I'll come to a fresh location. And over here, I'll use the command called as filter. So I type equal to filter and then I give open parenthesis. Now first it is asking me the array. Array means you have to highlight your entire data range including the headings. So I highlight my entire data range this way. Once I have highlighted the array range then I will give a comma. And now it is asking me that what you would like to search in that array. So first you have to specify the column which you want to search. So I will specify that I want to search in this column. And what you want to search. So I type equal to and then I click on this cell. Now I close parenthesis and hit enter. So you can see it has instantly filtered the data for not for south. So same way if I type east, it will filter the data for east and so. If I type north, it will filter the data for north and so. If the formatting is not there, you can just format it to currency. However, one small issue you'll notice that if I type the region name as west, now it is giving me an error because there is no data which matches the region as west. So how do we take care of this situation? Let us edit this formula. So I click over here and I press F2 to edit this formula. Now you can see that we have given two parameters. The first parameter is the array range. The second parameter is the filter criteria. Now after this, if I give a comma, now there is a third parameter as well, if empty. Means what to do if it doesn't find the data. So I'll give in parenthesis, in quotation marks, message like data not found. You can give any message of your choice. I'll give, I'll close the quotation marks and then I will hit enter. So now you can see for best, it has not found any data. So it is not giving us an error and it is saying me data not found. But if I type some valid data rate like north, it gives me the data for north. If I type south, it gives me the data for south. If I type east, it gives me the data for east. And finally for best, if there is no data, it shows me as not defined. So friends, hope you have understood the filter function. Remember the three parameters in filter function. First, you have to type equal to filter. Then you have to give the array. In this, you have to highlight the entire data. Then you have to give your criteria, what to search. And finally, if not found, then what to do? That criteria you have to give. 
So if you remember these three parameters, the filter function is just a breeze. Hope you have learned something new. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you again in the next video. Till that time, goodbye.